Hey, what's up everybody? This is Scott Wack and Pete. Today I'm running through an arm workout. Uh, you're talking range of motion, sets, reps, uh, positions of your palms, your hands, um, what I think is best overall mass builders. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today and we're going to run you through it. Shouldn't take more than about 45 minutes from start to finish. So y'all stick around. Hope you get some information out of it. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so whenever I do these, I don't ever count, really count reps uh, whenever I'm warming up. So on these, what I do is I stay in close until I start to feel it burn. Then I actually pull my shoulder blades together, hold them in each hand as close as I can, and then the movement is just like this. So that way you're taking everything out of it, but the last few inches of the movement, and that's all tricep right there. So it don't take much weight, but it's really, really, really helps you get warmed up, and it's also a good finisher too. So I'm doing a few sets of that here. Like I said, I don't even count these. I don't count warm-ups as sets, and then we'll do something for biceps. Not gonna count that either, and then we'll get into it. <laughs> On this, we're doing a straight bar warm up on the cable. So I feel it better when you step closer to the actual bar right here than when you stand back. That angle feels like to me it puts more pressure on the biceps throughout the entire movement. And again, I don't let go at the bottom and I don't come all the way up here. So it's basically right here. As soon as the bicep contracts, that's the entire movement. Don't let off at the bottom. So that way it's constantly under tension the, the entire time. So that way you're flushing more, much blood in there as you can. All right, so we just finished warming up with those. On these, one of the reasons, another reason I like to get close to the bar is because it makes me have to hold my elbows back and it keeps my elbows in a fixed position so that way you're not swaying. And when you're doing cables, there's no reason, no reason for using any body English to get it up. Cables should be absolutely as strict form as you can get. Now, when you're doing barbell or some maybe heavy uh, dumbbells, which I'm not a huge advocate of going heavy on biceps at all, but when you're doing those, if you got to use a little body English, that's fine. But anything like cables or anything like that, that should be as strict form as you can possibly get. So now we're going to go over to the uh, pin loaded preacher curl on this. We're going to do the outside grip first, a couple sets there, 15, and outer works inner. And then we're going to go two sets inner, which is going to work the outer. So we're going to do four sets all together here, about 15, 20 reps each, and then we're going to add a drop set at the end to really, really get that blood in there and tear down the bicep. Everybody knows that you gotta have a pump cover on to do anything upper body. Whycompete.com, pick up your pump cover. So 
So on this one, this is the last step we're going to do. It's the inner grip work in the outer part of the, of the bicep. So we're going to do 15 with this, and then we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to try to double it and or till failure. And you'll see me do half reps, quarter reps, whatever it takes, all the way to you, to you can't do anymore. So um, on this, this is basically, that's another way to add intensity. I'm a huge fan of drop sets, especially at the end of the set just in a way to be able to push past failure and to be able to get more blood inside the muscle. So we're doing one arm overhead extensions with the dumbbell. On this, the main thing you're wanting to do is you want to get a good deep stretch whenever you go down and you're not wanting to throw it back up. You're wanting to be smooth throughout the entire motion. And we're doing 15, 20 reps, single arm. And then we're gonna do a couple sets heavier with double arm. Double arm. Um, on this, I like to do single arm first. Whenever I do that, because the weight's so hard to get up and get over, it'll, it'll pre-exhaust the muscle. So that way, a lighter weight feels heavy. So like I said, on this, we're gonna do three sets here with single arm, and then we're going to do two sets with double arm. hundreds because he's on 90 so I had to go up one <laughs> all right so now for the next bicep exercise because last week we done straight bar um, regular straight bar curls so what we do now is we're gonna do the curls like we did for warm-ups where we're gonna go a little bit heavier and so that way we get kind of tired at 15 or 20 reps so we're gonna do them but we're gonna do them on cables do them slower so we'll have complete resistance the entire time and try it with no body English. All right, so last set, same as always, gonna do a drop set. Uh, Bryce done two drop sets, so I guess I'll do two or three. Um, at least 15 with the first, and then we'll just go until we can. Try to keep your body as close as you can, keep your elbows back. When you pull up, don't sway, no body English. Again, we're training the muscle, not moving the weight. Y'all heard me say, you'll hear me say it in every video. If you want to get bigger, train the muscle, don't move the weight. If you want the power lift, get your technique right, be able to move the weight, not really worried about training the muscle. But if you want to get bigger, you want to get uh, a bodybuilding style look, you want muscle growth, you gotta be able to train and don't worry about the weight. Okay, so now we're going over to the V-bar pushdowns. We done the French press, and then we done one arm dumbbell extensions over the head. In my opinion, French press, skull crushers, close grip bench, 
uh, straight bar push downs, V bar push downs, and dips are all some of the best mass builders. Uh, I try to do at least at least one to two mass builders per uh, arm day or per time I just try to do triceps. And sometimes I'll go heavy, I'll go down to 10 reps, eight reps, something like that. Especially if I'm doing bench, if I'm doing close grip bench. But uh, for the most part, it's 10 and up on the reps. So it's higher reps, heavy weight for as high as many reps as you can get. So, and as much time under tension as you can possibly get. So range of motion on this is the same as I do on everything else. The only difference is when I do triceps, you'll see me actually lock out sometimes because I feel it on certain exercises. I feel whenever I press down, I feel it, I feel it contract the muscle more. But as far as time under tension goes, you may see me stop right before the bottom and then I come up about halfway and go back down. You may see me come all the way up. It's just trying to get a different range of motion and that way I can adjust to where I feel it better according to the weight that I'm using and the reps that I go in. All right, so we've done the warm-ups. Off of the warm-ups, we've done uh, tricep extensions with the rope. Um, I don't know how many sets, I don't count the sets. Uh, we've done uh, straight bar with the cables uh, for warm-ups. That's the two things we've done for biceps and triceps warm-up. Then we went to the uh, pin loader preacher curl, uh, outer and inner. Coming in after that, we've done one arm overhead extensions and then we done some French presses, went a little heavier and done the French presses. Yeah. We went back to the same thing we warmed up with, which is a straight bar getting close to the, the bar in front of you without using any body English or anything like that. Curling. And then after that we went to the V bar press downs, went pretty heavy, done a drop set. Everything we done a drop set at the end. And then now we're finishing up with we're gonna do hammers and then we're also gonna do some uh, diamond push ups. So these are the two finishers we're doing. We're super setting these and we're not even really counting the, the we're doing at least twenty reps for hammers. We're doing ten this way and ten that way and then as many diamond push ups as we can do. So let's see how much fat Smagoo weighs. Okay, so that is a basic mass building arm workout. Uh, there's a couple other mass builders I mentioned in there. Y'all can throw one or two of them in there. Replace some of the cable stuff if you want to. Uh, for me, I don't go heavy on biceps hardly ever. The reason it's such a small muscle, such an easy to tear. And again, we're training the muscle, we're not moving the weight. So I hope y'all enjoyed the film. Again, your pump cover, be sure you can purchase it at whycompete.com. Y'all saw how much fat Magoo's weighs. And I hope y'all enjoyed the workout and I hope y'all got some good information out of it. So y'all come back for the next video. Be sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and y'all click that bell so we don't miss a video. And we'll be posting a video every Tuesday night at seven Central Standard Time. So y'all be sure to tune in then. Hope you like it. See you in the next video.